Hello and welcome to this soothing yoga practice. We need a bolster for this session, for the end of the practice. And let's just have some fun rocking and soothing away all our tension. This is a practice that is designed for any level of experience. We don't need to have lots of flexibility. We don't need to have lots of yoga um, practice under our belt. Just have some fun and move your body. Bring that motion in. And I'll meet you on the mat in just a moment. So coming to lie on the back, back into our constructive rest pose, bend the knees and ground the soles of the feet into the floor. And I just want you to take a moment to acknowledge what may be needed to soothe your body today. When we think about soothing, it doesn't always have to just be gentle. But what we're going to encourage today is rocking, motion being a very soothing aspect to our human needs. And think about it in this way, when we're a baby, when we're in pain, when we're kind of frustrated or upset, when we're happy and excited, our bodies move in emotion. We rock, we move, we soothe. So we're gonna use this motion within the body to help soothe us today in the ways that we need it. Firstly, we're gonna start by just rocking a little bit from left to right. Now you may just start very softly rocking your knees side to side. They don't have to come all the way down to the ground. You might want to increase this and slow it down or speed it up and let it be small. It doesn't have to be a big mo motion, motion. <laughs> I like motion. It can be small. You can be bigger and you might wanna pause on one side and rock into one side. Maybe pause on the other side and rock. It's nice because it gives the glutes a little bit of a massage. Feels really lovely. And into the lower back, into the sacral area. Rocking, rock and roll, but in a nice gentle way. Okay, coming back to the center, we're gonna play by just tilting the pelvis up and down. Now, again, we're not bringing the back off the floor. We're just making this movement small and it can be quick. It might be fast and small, or it may want to be the full range of motion your pelvis has here without lifting your hips off the ground. Back and forward, back and forward. A couple more. Lovely. And then drawing your knees in towards your shoulders. You don't need your hands here because we're gonna shuffle on the butt. So we're like on the sacrum. I always think of this as like a bear rubbing his back against a, a tree. Knees are going up and down to the shoulders. So we're not going side to side like we did in our twist. We're kind of taking an S shape with the body, like a snake. Great for the spine. It feels so lovely as well. And your head will just bubble where it needs to go. Create that motion in your body, that soothing motion. And again, this can be slow, or I like fast and wiggly today. Good, couple more breaths. And then coming back to some stillness, hug the knees in. We're gonna roll up to seated and maybe roll back down. Rolling back up and back down. Now you're, again, your rolls can be really small or they can be nice and big. For me, it feels lovely on my spine. We always panic about bringing pressure into the vertebrae, but it's actually really needed. Spinal processes feel really nice and you're not gonna damage them on your nice comfortable yoga mat necessarily if you're mindful of how you roll. Famous last words. <laughs> Coming up to seated, we'll cross the ankles and just add a little bit of motion. What motion do you want? I feel like this circular motion feels nice for me. You might wanna go back and forward. I don't know, circling feels good for me. You can just do one direction. You might wanna change and go the other way. A little bit of movement here. Almost like you're zoning out and it becomes a repetitive movement and you just rock. If you've experienced that pain where you're like, oh, and you're rocking like this, we've all experienced that, right? And it does really help soothe it. 
Also, if you're like listening to music or if you're kind of chilled out and you're just like moving your body, it feels really nice to have this motion in your body. One more breath. Coming back to a little bit of stillness, so center the body and observe. My body still feels like it's moving. So if your body still feels like it's doing like a little rock and roll, awesome. We can feel like all the vibrations and movement coming through the body. Now we're gonna make our way up to standing. We're gonna do a little kind of variation of a sun salutation, but involving a lot more rocking and moving and feeling into that kind of softness of the body. So I say that as I start to already go for it. We're gonna to start to rock the hips in a circle. Now they can go in any direction, it doesn't matter. Just go for the one that feels most soothing for your body. And if you wanna bring the arms in, maybe play with the arms, moving up and down. Let it be the same. So we're kind of creating more like a meditative movement in the body as we're rocking. A repetitive movement that you don't really have to think about too much. You just move and your body just flows. It will move the way that it wants to move because that's the way your body is, rather than it having to be in a particular position. One more, we'll lift the arms up to the sky. Now we can either just bounce the knees or bounce the heels. Whatever feels the most kind of soothing, sending a little vibration up through your body. My fingertips are a little bit soft. My elbows are a little bit soft. My knees are st definitely soft and we're just kind of being like a spring, just bringing up and down. Take an inhale, exhale, flop it down into a forward fold and then sway left to right. And you don't have to go all the way down, you can come up and down. Again, repeating the movement if that feels good. Just moving around, swinging and swaying into the body. Good. Now the hands will come down to the earth. We'll step back with the right leg, drop the right knee down, and just add a little bit of movement in and out. This can stay really small in your lunge, a nice gentle in and out movement. You might want to bring it a little bit deeper, moving into more of a half Hanuman. You might want to bring the arms in, so the arms can do anything. For some reason, my arms wanna do this. Back and forward. That feels quite nice for me. You can do up and down if that feels better. My arms are tired. <laughs> My arms don't want to do that. They're like, no, okay, no. And just swinging with the motion. So it's not about how deep can I get into this pose. It's just about rocking. And again, letting it become almost meditative. One more. Good, hands come down to the ground. We come into tabletop. Little cat cows. So small movements just letting the pelvis move, the lower back move. If you wanna make it bigger, you can, but you won't wanna to go too quickly necessarily in here. If you wanna go quickly, make it small. Allowing things just to ripple from the tailbone up organically. Less is so important, it is often more. We always think oh, we have to be doing something really intense for it to actually be beneficial. Good, one more breath. Let's come down onto the forearms and rock the hips from side to side. Release the SI joint a little bit. If this feels painful in your back, again, you can go smaller. You can always bend your knees and rock your feet from side to side instead. You can always just let your head rock left to right. What rocking needs to happen in your body that feels soothing? I can't know that because I can't know your body, sadly. I can't be in your bodies and tell you exactly what you need. Similarly, you can't be in mine either though, so we have to listen for in for ourselves and check in, well, what works for me right now? What feels the most soothing for me in this moment? Good, we'll push back into a child pose. Now you can just bring your forehead down to the floor. And as we rock a little bit from side to side, let your forehead go side to side, massaging the trigeminal nerve. Or you can bring your forearms down, which I actually prefer. And bringing my head into the forearms, or actually I use this kind of knobbly bit of my wrist, so where the bone meets at the end of the, the bones into the wrist. I just use that as like a little bit of pressure into the forehead, which feels really nice. Obviously I'm not pushing the head down, I'm just letting the weight of the head fall down into the hand. 
I'm just rocking a bit from side to side. One more breath. Now you can stay here if this feels enough. Or coming into a downward facing dog and we're going to bounce the feet right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. It's bouncing. It doesn't have to be a strong down dog. It can be quite a soft one. You can also bounce into the elbows a little bit. This is a little bit stronger on the shoulders. It actually feels really nice. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Good. One more breath. Drop the knees back down to the floor. Let's step back with the right leg into our lunge. We're going to heel toe the foot a little bit wider as we bounce in. So it's a little bit more of a lizardy lunge. Bouncing in and out. If you want to place the hand onto the right thigh, maybe add a bit more movement here, you can. And then bringing the left foot to the outside of the left hand, we're going to bounce into our squat. Now this can be elbows to thighs. It can be a little bit of a rock from side to side if that feels nice. It can also be a malasana, but there's less movement available here. It might be smaller, which might be nice. Or it can even be more active. If you're really wanting to activate the thighs a little bit more, the glutes, you can. Or just keep it small. So go where your body wants to go. Keep the movement nice and interesting for you. That helps soothe whatever it is you're trying to soothe in your body. Could be your anxiety, so you might need a little bit more effort. If you're feeling kind of anxious today and you want to burn off some of that energy, use a little bit more power. Okay, we're going to come all the way up to standing, reach the arms high, inhale, exhale, side out. Come back to our circles. Now, I want to go this way. So my body just wants to circle this way. So if you want to go the same way you went the first time, go the same way you went the first time. If you want to bring the arms in, the arms can do whatever they want to do. Just try and let it be a repetitive movement. Repeating. So you don't really have to think about it. Now your cerebellum is having to work to coordinate this movement. So if you're like, wow, this is too much brain power, just drop it for now. Drop it and let it go. A couple more breaths. Circling around. Good. We'll reach the arms up to the sky, add either bouncing our heels or just bending the knees. Arms are soft, hands are soft, knees are soft. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Has anyone been on a bouncy castle recently? <laughs> I went on one recently. I was like, wow, I forgot how fun this was. Like way more fun than a trampoline because you have the walls that you can also bounce into as well. And I was like, this is so much fun. <laughs> I was like, yes, I was the eldest on it. And there were a load of like six year olds around me, but I still had a great time. <laughs> you take one more breath, inhale. Exhale, release. And then swing around. Swinging and moving. Just allowing the body to do what it wants to in this position to make it feel soothed and comfortable. Good, we'll bring the hands down to the floor, sit the left leg back into our lunge. And again, start small, bouncing in and out. If your hips are feeling tight, just go gently, gently, gently. Maybe you want to increase it a little bit more. Maybe you don't, but you do want to bring the arms in. So you can bring the arms in. What do the arms want to do? This is just what my arms kind of automatically want to do. They might want to do just this. Oh, that actually feels quite nice this side. They might not want to do very much. They might just want to kind of move with the body. So you're not really moving them. They're being moved. So just listen to what's happening for you. Couple more. Good. Bring the hands back down to the earth, coming into your tabletop position. Our mini fast cat cows. Don't overthink it. Let it be small, small but mighty. If you want to increase it, if you feel you need to, you can obviously increase the movement, but try to maintain a rhythm. Repetitive movement. One more breath. And then coming down onto the forearms into our sphinx position, you can wiggle the hips side to side, a little wiggle. If you want to move the head instead, or if you want to do a different motion, you create the motion and then you just repeat it. And then we'll make our way into our child pose. Again, remember you can use your forearms, 
to rock the head and just rock. I'm like being rocked on a boat. Remember, it can be a super slow rhythm. That feels good. Or it can be a little bit quicker. You can play with the speeds and just find the speed that really speaks to you in a soothing way. What are you soothing here? Good, one more breath. Now you can stay in this position or come into your downward facing dog and walk the feet out. Kind of like we're trotting. If you want to bring the arms in as well, you can bounce in the arms. Soft elbows. Might be a little bit of a cerebellum game again. It's like tapping the belly and rubbing the head or vice versa. <laughs> so it's good for our brains. And then dropping the knees down to the floor, the left leg is going to come to the outside of the left hand and we just bob in and out again. If you want a little bit more of a twist or a bit more pressure, you just bring the hand to the thigh. A little bit of a stretch here. It can be small. Then we'll step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, come into our squat and we just pulse. Again, it can be side to side. For me, my knees like the bouncing. What does your body want? If you want a bit more strength, more effort, come up in and out of it a little bit more. So get the glutes working, get the thighs working. It's not lazy to not want to do that. It just might be actually feels much more soothing to be down here and bobbing. One more breath. This time we're going to come all the way up. Inhale, reach the arms up, release and come back to some stillness. Just check back in. All this motion, what are you feeling in your body? Now this is where we're going to want our bolster, so or our large pillow. We're going to come on to the back first and bring the bolster underneath the sacrum. Really important that we feel supported around the sacral glute area and it's not into the lower back. So make sure that you feel there's a gap here between your lower back and the bolster. And the legs are gonna go up to the sky. Maybe give them a little bit of a shake. Remember you can shake from the toes down, you can shake side to side, back and forward. How can all play with what the shaking feels like? The vibration move, or the lymphatic system, the blood. Maybe let's bring the arms in and shake the arms as well. Again, if you need to shake the arms and shake the legs, if your brain can't do both. My brain had a little bit of like a, oh, how do I shake both arms and legs at the same time? <laughs> Good. Then let the arms relax. We're just gonna let the legs come over towards the head and we're gonna pulse the legs in and out. Now, you can do this with just the legs. This might be quite strong of a stretch. So you can always use your hands to push. So we're pushing the legs back, so they're not coming as far as they need to go. And you might want to pad up the thighs and down, which feels really nice on the legs. Good. The knees don't have to be straight, they can be bent. We're just bouncing in and out. A couple more. Good. Then we bend the knees into our happy baby variation and we're going to take one leg out, one leg in. So one foot comes in, one goes out. Again, this can be slow. Now, because the hips are lifted, we're not going to rock side to side. So again, you can take this slowly out and in. You don't have to go to the full stretch. It's just like one and then the other, like shum, shum, shum. If you prefer to do both at the same time, out and in, you can do both at the same time. This might be a little bit more intense. So I quite like one and then the other. A little bit of coordination is still needed though. Good. And then bring the feet either down to the floor or you can keep the legs floating. We're just gonna go in and out with the knees. Now your knees can kind of either be up towards the chest as well, in line with your support, or feet can be down on the floor. So it depends, <coughs> excuse me, on the amount of pressure you want going through your hips. Obviously, it depends on your own hips where you feel the most tension. And you don't have to go for that one. You can make it really small, or you can make it really big. I quite like bouncing into the bit where it then pulls me back in. That feels good for me. 
It feels quite soothing. We'll take another breath here. And then just drop the knees in to the chest and back. So it's kind of like a little in and out, in and out. Not a big movement, just enough that you feel a little bit of rocking on the back. It's like stretch, release, stretch, release, stretch, release. One more breath, inhale. As we drop the feet down to the floor, you can stay here or slide the legs away, maybe reach the arms up and over the head. Take a big expansive breath in and out. We drop into a bit of stillness in this open position. If this feels too vulnerable for any reason at all, you can always come back to drawing the feet in or come out of the pose. If this feels glorious, just stay here for a few more breaths, opening up through the front of the body effortlessly. Take another inhale here. As we exhale, we'll slide the feet back in. Lift the hips up and roll the bolster down to the heels. Maybe drop the back into the floor. And you may want to roll onto your side into a bit of a fetal position if that feels super, super cozy for a moment. Because we're in that expansive position, you might want to bring an arm as a pillow you may just want to take a moment to round the spine before we come to Shavasana. Hmm. Then making our way back onto the spine into our final rest of Shavasana. Get super comfortable, warm. You can use the bolster or the large pillow from underneath the knees or on the under the head, whatever feels nice so you can settle here for a few minutes. Now I want you to imagine you're being rocked. Whether you're being rocked on a boat, cradled in someone's arms, a hammock, However you want to be rocked, imagine yourself being rocked. Visualize that motion of soothing. Let this motion rock you into a slumber. Very slowly become aware of your body lying on the ground.
stillness of the earth that's still carrying you. Maybe moving the toes, fingers. Maybe a big stretch is needed. A yawn, perhaps a big sigh. We'll hug the knees in towards the chest and rock a little bit from side to side. Find a little rock here. As we make our way over to one side, very slowly push the body up into a seated position. Finding that place where you feel comfortable, you can add a little bit of motion here. And take one final breath in, reach the arms up. Bring the palms together and drop the hands down towards the heart center. So you bow the head forward, thanking yourself for soothing your body. Namaste.